There he is. Dad made it up here. This is the first time I've been emotional up here. I mean, that's a pretty cool deal, you know? Seeing him up here is just pretty awesome. I just wanted him to finish today. Lane Trance, a little choked up when his father Randy came to the summit of Pikes Peak for the 40th and final time today. Trance, who has had a brilliant career, posted a time of 10 minutes and 35 seconds today, good for fourth place in his class. Randy Trance underwent cancer surgery on his esophagus in March. However, he was determined to race up Pikes Peak on this final Sunday in June. I think after my cancer scare, I mean, I. All I had to do is have one setback of two weeks, and it would have put me out of the race. And so I, I tried to really do what the doctor said to do, and make sure I was healthy that, to come up here. And and uh, I think it really did help. What was the first thing you told your dad as he was uh, as you ran over there and, and socked him right after he got out of his car? I think I just hooped and hollered and said we made it. I mean, I, like I told you, I was more excited I think than he was. The Vasholtz family from Woodland Park has had three generations of hill climb climbers. Leonard Vasholtz is a hill climb legend. Today, Clint Vasholtz raced for the 23rd time. He finished with an impressive time of 9 minutes and 54 seconds. And his son, Cody, competed in a motorcycle class. Cody has been going to Pikes Peak International Hill Climb since he was born. I do. I, I used to stand at the starting line left on the outside, and whenever my grandpa and my dad would go around the corner, me and my, my little friend, we would love to get pelted by rocks as they'd go by and all the dust flying, and that, that was really, really cool. Well, it's been a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun all week with Cody, and, and you know, we've... Um you know, kind of, when I used to race with my dad, you know, we could we could talk and communicate and amongst ourselves and and understand how how when you're down to get back up and when you're up to be sure that you might go down and yeah. and uh, and and he's just a great great kid to to work with. And uh, it's always a family affair at the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. Now we believe we had the youngest competitor ever in the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb today. As 15-year-old, 15-year-old Brandon Tubbs from the Black Forest area competed. Now he's not even old enough to get his driver's license, and yet he competed in the hill climb today. Oh, I was definitely scared at the beginning. Had the butterflies, man, and scary part. But after I got up here, it was definitely a little bit easier.